first off, congratulations. Uh, welcome to the Razorback community. Uh, awesome. What exactly happened to make you want to transfer? So kind of, I mean, I never planned on leaving U of H and kind of finishing my career there with the guys I went to school with and kind of just wrapping up everything as a Cougar at U of H. And then as the season went on and then everything that happened with the coronavirus the season getting canceled, I kind of got a golden ticket per se to look at new schools, do opportunities, grad schools, and kind of everything of that nature and kind of just a fresh start. So I was like, yeah, it's the perfect opportunity to kind of look at the next thing in life and going into the portal and then committing to Arkansas was the next thing for me. So what was that like for you, though, at the U of H when the season was canceled? I'm, I'm sure you were looking forward to, you know, your senior season there. I mean, it was crazy because we were uh, actually coming back from a road trip at U at uh, Arizona because we had a weekend series at Arizona and then a Tuesday and Wednesday game at UNLV. And as we're driving from Arizona to UNLV, we got the news that the Ivy League canceled their entire season. And none of those guys, because I know the Ivy League doesn't do, uh, I think, what's it called? They don't get like an extra year to play. It's four years and they're done. And so we uh, pretty much found out on the bus that their season was canceled and we go and play at UNLV the next day. And we find out the news that the American, the conference we were in at the time, canceled the season. And as we're flying back home, it's kind of a, uh, ooh, illusion. No. Right, oh, just for a second. You're good now. <laughs> gotcha. But uh, as we were coming back, we find out like the American got canceled and we were kind of like, oh, what's going to like, what's going to be the next big thing for us? And so that was kind of crazy to be with the team as it happened and find out everything was getting canceled. And we were just traveling back and nobody really knew what to do or what the next step was. I read that once you got back, though, there was some concern about one of your mm -hmm. staff members having coronavirus. So you guys were quarantined for a while. What was that like? So it was super weird because I lived with uh, two juniors at the time and they weren't really too concerned about like getting their year back and everything like that because they still had a year mm -hmm. given either way. So I'm sitting there just kind of getting five days of locked up in the apartment, can't do anything, sitting there thinking about baseball. And was that the last time I played baseball? It was really kind of a weird feeling and five days of just sitting in an apartment not knowing if you could play baseball again was uh not the best place to be at the time mm -hmm. so uh that was kind of my experience of it so when exactly did David Horn or someone reach out to you and, and what was that conversation like so whenever I put my name into the transfer portal was a Friday night around six seven o'clock and our NCAA compliance guy U of H was telling me it would take about two business days to get into the portal. So I'm thinking Monday, Tuesday is when I would drop. And then I come downstairs Saturday morning about 11 o'clock, start making a coffee, getting everything going, phones on the charger, hanging out, playing music. And next thing I know, I just hear all these like beeps going off on my phone. Walk over there, I'm looking at it. Next thing I know, about 50 emails, a bunch of text messages and new followers from coaches and DMs from coaches. Everybody's kind of reaching out. And then finally, as I'm sorting through, I finally see the ones that are interested in me. And I see Arkansas baseball, in one of the emails from Matt Hobbs. And I was like, yeah, yeah, Arkansas wouldn't be too bad of a place to go play some baseball, it seems like. So I reached back out. And I mean, ever since then, it was just talk to him and through the entire thing. It was awesome talking to him, Coach Van Hoor, and everybody at Arkansas. So it was cool. So had you ever been up here to, to Arkansas? Once. No? Uh, no. What are you looking forward to? Um, I don't – I mean, other than the baseball and kind of the fans, I mean, it's exciting to get away from home because mm -hmm. 30 minutes down the road is how far my house is from U of age. So I've always had that kind of close distance. And then also I'm kind of ready for, like, an actual college campus as opposed to be in the middle of downtown. It's kind of – Oh, there's U of H is like tucked away over here. And as opposed to going to Fayetteville and kind of like, hey, this is what's here. College is the thing. Baseball is the big thing to do as opposed to being a U of H and you're people are going to Astros games every other game. But it seems like a U of H game. Well, the fan support out here is just absolutely insane. Yeah. Uh, has your Twitter <laughs> feed been blowing up with people, you know, congratulating you and, and following you now? Yeah, <laughs> big time. It took me a while to figure out what WPS was. I was like, all right, what is 
what is WPS? I finally figured it out. I was like, what pig? I was like, ah, I got it. So so you're, you're all these have... people with WPS. I was like, what is this? You're going to have to learn how to call the hogs once you get up here. I'm sure that the guys can give you some help on that one. <laughs> yeah. We actually, yeah. So y'all were playing at, Arkansas was playing at what, Shiners and Minute Maid mm -hmm. this year in Houston. Yeah. And so I had a buddy who played on Baylor and they were playing against Arkansas. And the entire time I'm just hearing the Whippig story the entire time. And I was like, wow, that is a, that is awesome. Is that part of what kind of piqued your interest in Arkansas? Being able to see them play in Houston? Yeah, it was really cool to kind of see them. And growing up, Arkansas has always won games. It's always been like their upper echelon of everything baseball wise. It's the SEC. It's great fan support. I mean, whenever I was kind of watching college baseball for the first time was Ben attendee was at Arkansas. So, I mean, it was, you're kind of watching growing up, like Arkansas was always that top tier school winning games, winning at the highest level. And that was kind of something like the little kid in me was kind of like, oh man, Arkansas, like what a dream come true. So what does Coach Hobbs talk to you about, you know, in terms of what you'll be doing once you get out here and, and what he wants to work with you with? So talking to Coach Hobbs, it's pretty much like it's free game, earn a spot, earn earn what you're going to be. He goes, I'm not going to guarantee anything. I mean, if he was guaranteeing, it's that's not the right way to do it anyways. It's come in there, earn a spot, earn whatever role is going to help the team win. And for me at this point, it's kind of the only thing I'm trying to do now is win a national championship. I mean, for me, that's the only thing on my mind and the only thing that really matters, whether it's pitching, starting, closing, belief, setup, matchup, hitting, outfield. It really doesn't matter to me as long as we're winning games. I was about to say, uh, reading up on you a bit uh, in your time at Houston, you kind of did a little bit of everything. Yeah. Uh, how exactly was that, and, and when did you settle into your pitching role? So my freshman year when I got to campus, I came in as a two-way guy and was recruited as a two-way guy. And we had an absolutely loaded staff my freshman year. So I was like, all right, I'm probably not going to break into the rotation here. We have a lot of guys that were really high players for us and they went well in the draft they were great players at U of H and so freshman year I kind of I was like all right I'll put pitching on the back burner for now and focus on hitting since that's going to get me on the field and I earned a starting spot in the outfield played there for a little bit transitioned to first base some more and kind of my freshman year I was like all right pitching on the back burner focus on hitting getting on the field playing every day just because there's nothing I hate more than being on the bench <laughs> so so I would just hit pit hit and do whatever I had to, to get on the field my freshman sophomore year and my sophomore year we had a new pitching coach come in Terry Rooney and we kind of worked on it like kept in the back pocket pitching wise and kind of developed it as the year went on and then junior year came around and the pitching really came forward earned the Friday job I think two three weeks into the season and then never let go of it after that. Well we're all looking forward to having you up here in in Fayetteville sometime soon hopefully so thank you so much for your time and for you know, talking with me today. I really appreciate it. Yeah, it was easy. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.